Hello, passionate Sailtic FC fans. This is Sailtic Central News, your exclusive source for Sailtic updates. Before we kick off, we appreciate the incredible support. If you love Sailtic, subscribe now, hit like, and let's build this community together. Now, on to the latest news, a warm welcome to new subscribers. Your support is crucial. Hail, hail! As Celtic strides confidently towards another Scottish Premiership title, an intriguing development is brewing across Europe. Reports suggest that one notable club has singled out a Celtic defender as their ideal acquisition, sparking curiosity about potential transfers ahead. Currently, Celtic finds itself engaged in a unique title race against Aberdeen rather than their traditional rivals, Rangers. The boys have remained relentless, standing atop the table on goal difference, with both teams undefeated in their first nine matches. Their latest outing was a dominant 3-0 victory against Motherwell, a performance that solidifies their strong position as the season unfolds. While Celtic revels in its success, attention turns toward potential reinforcements for the squad as 2025 approaches. The buzz centers around Dario Osario, the talented Chilean star whose impressive form at Michelin has caught the eyes of Celtic's management. A move to Celtic Park could offer an exciting boost to Brendan Rodgers' attacking options, yet it's not just about new arrivals, departures may also be on the horizon. Marmo has reportedly set its sights on Gustav Lagerbilka, currently on loan at FC Twent. According to Sportbladet, the Swedish club is dreaming of securing the defender's services, having previously been turned down by him. This renewed interest could present Lagerbilka with an unexpected chance to reconsider his options as the summer window of 2025 looms. The future of Lagerbilka at Celtic is shrouded in uncertainty. After a challenging season where he struggled for game time, he was allowed to embark on a loan spell. Earning approximately £12,000 a week, Celtic may opt to cash in on the 24-year-old, potentially facilitating Marmo's ambitions in the process. Lagerbilka's time at FC Twent has been less than stellar, with only three appearances to his name this season, exacerbating his challenges since departing Celtic. At a crossroads in his career, a return to Marmo could provide the game time he desperately needs, setting him on a path back to prominence. From the heights of praise for his passing range last season, an impressive attribute noted by Celtic writer Ryan McGinley, Lagerbilka now faces the daunting prospect of finding his place in a team thriving under Rodgers. As Celtic charges toward yet another championship, the on-loan defender must carefully consider his next move. Will he embrace the opportunity to join Marmo if they come calling again next summer? The decision could significantly impact his career trajectory. Before we proceed, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to receive all exclusive news about Celtic FC. Don't miss any details about your favourite team. It's extremely important for Sailtic FC fans. In the ever-dramatic world of Scottish football, a new storm brews on the horizon. Recent whispers suggest that Celtic Football Club could face a severe penalty, potentially losing six crucial points due to the registration of an irregular player. This revelation has ignited fervent discussions among fans, analysts, and pundits alike. As the drama unfolds, supporters are left wondering, how will this impact the current season and the club's aspirations for glory? The possibility of such a penalty is particularly alarming given Celtic's fierce competition in the Scottish Premiership. The league has been tightly contested this season, with teams vying for every point available. A deduction of six points could be disastrous, potentially shifting the balance of power and jeopardising Celtic's chances of securing the championship. Fans are left anxiously speculating about the ramifications of this potential punishment as the stakes have never been higher. At the heart of this controversy is the alleged irregularity involving one of Celtic's key players. The details remain murky, but the implications are crystal clear. Should the Joint Professional Football Board, JPP, decide to take action, it could set a precedent in Scottish football, stirring debates about compliance and fairness in player registrations. This situation raises crucial questions, how diligent are clubs in ensuring their rosters are in order? What responsibilities do they hold in preventing such oversights? As the club navigates this precarious situation, the reactions from Celtic supporters are a mix of disbelief and anger. 
many fans feel that a points deduction would be an unfair punishment for the team, especially if the irregularity was a minor oversight rather than a blatant breach of regulations. Social media is abuzz with passionate discussions, as supporters rally to defend their club and call for transparency in the decision-making process. The voices of the fans resonate louder than ever, emphasizing their loyalty and the importance of justice in football. As the uncertainty surrounding the potential points deduction lingers, the question on every Celtic fan's mind is, how do they feel about the possibility of their beloved club facing such a severe penalty? The mood among supporters is palpable, with many expressing their outrage and disbelief. Some fans argue that a six-point deduction would unfairly penalise the team for what could be a minor administrative error, while others see it as a necessary step to maintain the integrity of the league. The debate continues, revealing a deep passion for the club and a desire for fairness in Scottish football. On social media platforms, fans have taken to expressing their concerns and frustrations, often using hashtags like #JusticeForCeltic. Many supporters are vocal about their belief that the JPP should consider the context of the situation before making a decision. If it was an honest mistake, why should the team suffer, one fan posted, highlighting the emotional toll that such a punishment could have on the players and coaching staff. This sentiment is echoed throughout the fan base, with calls for leniency resonating strongly among the Celtic faithful. Moreover, there are those within the Celtic community who are calling for a united front. Supporters argue that now is the time for fans to rally together, regardless of their differing opinions on the issue. We need to show the club that we stand behind them, no matter what, another fan remarked, emphasizing the importance of solidarity during challenging times. This sense of unity reflects the passionate nature of Celtic supporters, who have a rich history of standing together through thick and thin. As discussions about the potential penalty continue, the question remains, how will this situation affect the club's performance on the pitch? Will the uncertainty create a distraction for the players, or will it galvanise them to fight even harder for their place at the top of the league? As the fans ponder these questions, they eagerly await news from the JPP, hopeful for a resolution that safeguards the integrity of Celtic FC while preserving their ambitions for the season. The outcome of this saga will undoubtedly leave a lasting impact, not just on the club, but on the hearts of every Celtic supporter. With a decision from the JPP looming, all eyes will be on Celtic. The potential fallout from this situation could reshape the landscape of Scottish football for years to come. Will the club be able to weather the storm, or will they find themselves facing the harsh reality of a points deduction? As the drama unfolds, one thing is certain, the intrigue surrounding this saga will keep fans on the edge of their seats, eager to see how it all plays out in the coming weeks. Hello, fan! Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, as it means a lot to Celtic FC. Also, share your opinion about the news in the comments below. See you in the next video.